A group of scientists at Yale University have revived the vital organs from dead pigs, which has raised questions about whether some forms of death are reversible. Joining us now for more is Dr. David Andrevik. He is an associate research scientist in neuroscience at Yale University and co-lead on this study. He joins us today from New Haven, Connecticut. David, first of all, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me. So David, the pigs in this study had been dead for an hour before you were able to revive cells in the heart, liver, and the brain and get them functioning again, get them working. Like, uh, I, will, I will ask you just how normal they were afterwards, but how were you, first of all, able to do this? Well, we have developed this technology that uh, resembles heart and lung machines that is currently used in clinics. And also we have developed a, a cocktail of drugs and uh, kind of synthetic blood, which we then use this machine to inject into the animal's bloodstream and manage to uh, recover the cells and tell them not to die. Right, and so I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there are pretty shocked that you can essentially bring a dead cell back to life. Uh, so how surprised were you by your findings? We were, we were really very surprised. Uh, well, basically, this uh, is just an extension of an earlier study uh, by our group done in 2019, which has shown that cells do not die instantaneously, but rather it's a more protracted uh, process. And that fact actually allows us to intervene and also stop and tell cells to start recovering themselves. So does this mean that eventually there could be different forms of death that are reversible? Well, I wouldn't go into <laughs> uh, such speculations, but uh, we have just started to see on the, on the cellular level and hopefully we can see it in some uh, like fully uh, recovered organs in the future. And so a lot of people out there are probably wondering why you even wanted to do this experiment. What was the whole purpose? What do you hope this leads to? Well, we hope that uh, by this and uh, that we in the future uh, that we are able to recover organs, uh, which will then uh, lead to increase in organ donor pool and help uh, to tackle this uh, all constantly increasing uh, demand for organs and that we can use this in transplantation, of course. And this fluid that you are putting into the pigs was called Organ X. So that's the cocktail of drugs that you're talking about and these hemoglobin-like substances that you're putting into these pigs. Um, what are you learning from that? Does that indicate perhaps how we can live better? Well, I wouldn't also go uh, that far mm -hmm. because uh, first we need to do these uh, studies uh, in animals and uh, evaluate thoroughly this technology before even thinking about translating these in humans. Okay, we'd have to leave it there, but such a fascinating topic. David Andrevik, Associate Research Scientist in Neuroscience at Yale University and co-lead on this fascinating study. Thanks so much. Thank you.